Since the 1960s, SATCOM Technologies has consistently evolved, leading us to an ever more connected world. But how did we get there? Let's go back 25 years ago and review the transformation along the value chain. HTS has completely transformed the industry. Over the years, manufacturers have been able to offer higher capacity volumes for satellite at lower cost, translating in lower cost space of capacity. In 1997, three Constellation projects were in active deployment with a total of 53 satellites in orbit. Nowadays, NGSO Constellations have a strong foothold with over 2,500 active satellites. The strong decreases in launch prices has been driven by larger vehicles and more recently, reusable rockets, lowering the barrier for access to space. The industry transformation has attracted new entrants, leading to a competitive market environment with 53 active satellite operators collectively offering 16 TBPS in capacity supply globally. The improvement in modem and antenna technology has allowed for a true broadband experience. With satellite phones, voice and emergency services have been made possible anywhere on Earth. And throughout the years, user terminals have evolved in size and weight to connect UAVs, ships, and soldiers in field. DTH was launched in 1989 in Europe. DTH platforms are now serving over 225 million TV households globally. The introduction to standard definition and high definition played an important role in the digital TV revolution. Nowadays, consumers are increasingly dropping TV in favor of the internet. First introduced in the US, consumer broadband adoption has recently expanded globally. The maritime market has been a long time adopter of VSAT surpassing 30,000 vessels today. IFC over satellite was first introduced in 2004, but really took off in 2010. This is our legacy. Let's see what's next.